Fake T Box was produced at iQuami.com Studios on 144 Studios, New York. Production is made possible by Adobe, providing limitless creativity for all. The innovative world of Apple, always think different, but not too different. And by the people of this and other YouTube channels. And with the support from Brooklyn College, who reminds CUNY students that there's nothing without great effort. Welcome to Fake TV Box with Kwame Alexander, the show that takes a huge spin on any news out there. My name is Tuck Toomey-san, and I'm still filling in for host Kwame Alexander, who is currently supporting the writers and actors who are on strike by not appearing at the desk on camera. It's such a real shame that the studios and writers union can't come to an agreement much sooner. Mike Fremen Jr. from Deadline.com wrote an article with the headline reading, Lock yourselves in a room and don't come out until you shake hands on a deal. In a way, he's telling both sides to get their act together and come up with something they can agree on. Whether everyone likes it or not, it doesn't matter. As Cryptnet still continues to keep you posted with new information, we're also keeping you up to speed with what else is going on in the TV, movie, and entertainment industries. There have been a few projects that haven't been affected by evil strikes, and here's one of them I'm about to announce. In 1997, Paramount and Nickelodeon turned a fan favorite sketch from all that into a whole movie. That sketch happens to be Good Burger, and this year, it's finally getting a sequel. So, see me react to the very first teaser in 3, 2, 1. This is going to be the shortest trailer reaction in the history of fake TV box. about 45 seconds long, it does bring back memories to when the first Good Burger movie was anything kids would watch in the 90s. To this day, it has become a pop culture classic, and it's all thanks to Keenan and Cal. The duo was able to bring back some old vibes from the first movie 26 years ago without revealing what the overall plot is in this teaser trailer. Good Burger 2 is set to start streaming on Paramount Plus sometime this November. Imagine if Paramount and Nickelodeon collaborated with a fast food chain to campaign a meal in honor of Good Burger 2, the same way Marvel Studios is collaborating with McDonald's to honor Loki Season 2 with the as featured in meal campaign. Since neither projects can have Hollywood premieres because of the strikes, then this would be a better idea for promoting. They also show 
Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and share this episode and everything else on Clipnet. Hit the subscribe button down below to give your support to this channel. Also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Threads. And I'll see you next time right here on Fake TV Box with Kwame Alexander.